Okay, and up next, let's see how we can create our own custom hooks. And custom hooks are great for abstracting some functionality, basically to have less lines of code in the component. And as a result, it's going to be easier to manage our component. And also, once we have custom hook, we can bring it from project to project, which of course speeds up our workflow. Now, rule of thumb, quite often, use effect logic is a great option for custom hook. And lastly, all the hooks rules apply to our custom hooks. For example, they do need to start with use. As far as the setup in the app, JSX, look for zero, eight custom hooks, star, and then zero, one toggle. So we'll start with somewhat basic example, and then we'll work on the fetch one. And once you navigate here in the component, you can see that I'm using use state. I have show, set show, default value is false. And then every time I click on a button, what do you know? I'm toggling the component. And essentially, if I have, for example, three, four, five, or whatever components that have this kind of functionality, the toggle functionality, I can set up a pretty simple custom hook where First, we're going to navigate to the starter. I'm going to go with new file and let's go with use. Again, this will have to start with use, so we might as well right away set it up. And I'm going to go with toggle. And in this case, we can go with JS. Now, if you want, of course, you can set up JSX, but in my case, I'm going to go with JS. And essentially, the way it's going to work, we'll just take this functionality and return from that custom hook. So first, let me grab this just so it's faster. Then let's come up with the function. Again, we need to go to use. And in this case, I'm going to go toggle here. Then I know that I'm going to be looking for some kind of default value. And that's why I'll use this as a parameter. I'll say default and then value. And of course, I'll pass that value when I invoke the custom hook. And in here, as far as the logic, it's pretty much the same. I want to have show and set show, and I want to pass this default value. So let's go back over here, and we'll cut it out, copy and paste, and instead of false, I'll actually go with default and then value. Now I also want to set up the toggle function, the one that I'm invoking here. And I'm going to go with const toggle. Let me close the sidebar. As far as the functionality, same deal. Basically, I want to go with set show, and then the opposite value, whatever it is. And then from this use toggle, we have multiple options. If you want, you can return an array. So you can go here and say return. And then the first value can be show. And then the second one is toggle. So notice basically we're making a use state just a little bit more complex. So in here, I also have the toggle function. So hopefully it's clear. So we have the state value. But I'm just adding this extra function. So now I'm returning this and then back in the toggle, I can access it the same way. I can go use toggle and then the first value and the second value. Now I actually prefer returning this as an object. It just fits better my mental model where I know that there's going to be some properties there and I just want to access them. Now, this is totally up to you. If you want, you can set it up as an array. And then of course we want to export that. So I'm going to go here with export default. And then we're looking for use and then toggle. That's what we're exporting. And now back in the toggle one, instead of state, we don't need the state anymore. We want to import the use and then toggle. And I'll rely on my auto imports. Remember, we do need to provide the default value. Either that's true or false. And just so you can see that it works, I'll actually go with true. And then remember, we are returning the object, correct? And as far as the properties, what do we have over there? Well, we have show and we have the toggle. So now this stays the same. This doesn't change, but here where I have the on click, basically I have the toggle. Notice the moment I save, right away see the component. Why? Well, because the default value is true and then the functionality still works. I purposely picked a very basic example. Of course, as you're looking at it, you're like, 
well, I mean, are we really saving time? Again, it really depends. If you have 10 components that use the same toggle functionality, yeah, this is very nifty. And in the following example, you will truly see the power of the custom hooks. Again, this is just to showcase the main setup. Yes, we can use here use state. Yes, we can use use effect, whatever hook you want. Make sure that you start with use. And then when you actually invoke the hook, if you have some default value, you need to pass it in. So for example, if I flip it to false, notice now I don't see the component on the initial render, but if I go back to true, this is still going to work. So again, I refresh and I'm good to go. So that's the basic setup. And in the following video, we'll try to do the same thing with our fetch functionality.